morning <clears throat> another session of tau overflows multitasking what multitasking means doing several things at the same time you are listening to this live broadcast you may be thinking something that what this what Tao says I agree with this but I do not agree with this you may have the mobile phone next to you as soon as an alert comes on a message you look at it and at the same time you are sipping your cup of tea so many things you are doing but the individual concentration span is very short and in this digital world whereas a lot of things have improved and made things easier yet still the concentration span has become very short when because you are operating at the level of mind the moment awareness dawns with awareness you know when to do the multitasking and when not to do you look at a chef a master chef or the other chefs who are preparing the meals for you dishes for you in a restaurant there may be all the tables are full each table orders four or five different dishes there is a time that it should take to serve your meals if it takes one hour you will never like that within 10 to 15 minutes things starts coming in appetizers there are variety of appetizers which are kind of buffet style for instance in an Indian restaurant samosa spring roll and fritters all these are common which people order so as soon as your order is placed the work starts happening there are four burners so on one burner one dish is being made the other next one then there are certain experts there are tandoor experts so they will prepare if you have ordered chicken tikka or paneer tikka so it is already marinated the tandoor specialist will put it in that and he will prepare your naan bread and so and then the order is assembled this is multitasking according to awareness according to the need of the time need of the restroom it is needed that you should be efficient and be taking doing so many things simultaneously but in an ordinary life you are listening to me you are doing so many things is it necessary at that time what is important at the moment when you are listening to this live broadcast and what is the need for doing the multitask when you are a chef in a restaurant the circumstances and situations are totally different there you have to be expert you should know when and how to do the multitask but while you are listening to this it cannot be possible when awareness dawns you can do many things simultaneously I am in the store whenever I am having a session or live session via Skype or anything so the person is there I am alone in the store a customer comes in he asks for price of any item I can respond to him at the same time I will answer you 
and there will not be any mixing up that the customer I tell him which has to be told to you and to you tell you the price that customer has asked. Only awareness brings the makes you ready for multitasking. This is here the you need to be alert, you need to be aware and with that your capability will increase. Look at the child he is studying but the sound of the television screen is coming to his ears. His mind is not capable of anything else or the sound of television distracts the child. Such distractions take out at least 10 minutes in order to avoid such distractions and to understand and learn. Take out 10 minutes of your time every day within 24 hours and during that time you can use guided meditation or deep breathing. How much time on a day-to-day -day basis you spend for yourself, with you, not yourself, standing in front of the mirror to decorate your face. Instead, how much time do you spend with yourself just as you watch then when you are sitting doing nothing watch the thoughts floating on the inner sky you sit down by the side of the beach ocean you see the waves rising and waves are coming now really waves do not move but their frequency of the waves is in such a manner that they rise and fall and the intensity is so frequent that there seems to be a movement. Thought arise and fall right there. But because of the chain of thoughts and the overlapping, it appears to you as if thoughts are moving. Thoughts are like, you know, the you have a place where horses are kept. Horses are all tied up. They are in barrier, barricading. The moment you remove the barricading, the horses run like a wild animal, like wild. They run out and take a run, maybe 102 meters, to activate their feet and they return to their resting place. So you sit down by the side of the ocean or you just sit down and watch thoughts arising and disappearing or if you have time you can stand up at the busy corner you are living in an area so there may be close to the highway or subway or some other way where traffic is more frequent stand up at the corner watch the thoughts watch the cars flying at a speed. So there are two, three lanes. In each lane cars are moving. At times there is a stampede. Cars are moving bumper to bumper. Next moment cars, one car passes. After two, three minutes, ten minutes, next car passes. So there is a gap between the passing of the two cars. Your focus is on the vehicles. They are make their registration number, their color. Instead of that, the focus should be on the gap between two vehicles passing on the street. In the same way, when you are sitting and watching your thoughts, do not focus on the nature of the thoughts. Do not be judgmental that this thought is good or bad. Simply see when one thought, thought passes, how long after the next 
thought comes in. If your focus goes on on the time you have learned something, you are growing into awareness. The more you grow into awareness, it will be easy for you to engage into um, multitasking. One of my composition is Zindagi ke samandar mein utha tha ek din leharon sa One day I rose on the surface of the life of the ocean of life like one of the waves. Today I have dissolved in the vastness of the ocean. And when I have dissolved in the vastness of the ocean as if all the turmoil has vanished and every circumstances situation has found a shore. Circumstances and situation comes to you and when a, as problems but you do not find a shore. You are in the middle of the ocean, the problem in the middle of the problem which is and you are whirling like a whirlpool in that problem. You are not finding any solution. So Zindagi ke samandar mein utha tha ek din leharon sa. One day I rose on the surface of the ocean like one of the waves. Today I have dissolved in the vastness of the ocean. Now there is tranquility, there is peace, there is serenity. As if every shore has found, every circumstance or situation has found a shore. You can use the guided meditation. You can do the things on your own. It all depends on you. But the focus should be on the gap between the thoughts and in that you grow into awareness. The moment, the more you grow into awareness, it will be easy for you to do the multitasking and then there will be no problem whatsoever. Observe, visualize all beings. You are listening to this broadcast and what type of thoughts are arising in you. When I am speaking on Nanak, so those who are concerned with Nanak or connected, they like the talk. But the Sufi people, Sufi path, they do not like. There are some people, to them it does not matter what I am speaking on. What matters to them that Tao is overflowing and that is what is important to them. That 10 minutes will not create any miracle in you but that will pave the way and eventually you will learn so that out of those 10 minutes the positive energy that you have received and you can channelize into different parts of your body it will become the part of your life part of your understanding and instead of focusing on one you can focus on many things simultaneously without any discomfort or any problem. You can use rosary, it is fine. And rosary or chanting of a mantra is important because it is to bring your wavering mind or attention to one particular point, one particular name, one particular thought. That's why the mantra is given. Mantra is not important. It is a technique to bring your wavering mind or thought process to one single point. Only this much for this morning. We'll meet again for another talk. So take care and do have a pleasant day.